The wearables market has been insanely lucrative for Apple, and it turns out there's a new little corner of the wearables market that Apple might be joining soon. The Ring. If you're new here, my name is Nate, and I bring you my take on the biggest news in tech, and the biggest news in tech I have to talk about right now is the Apple Ring, which is a concept that's been around for a decade with a massive wall, within the massive walled garden of Cupertino, and patents have been filed several times throughout that time, and as they become public, the information leaks out, and we get to learn about what Apple's doing behind the scenes, at least what they're thinking about doing behind the scenes. And Apple has been protecting and interested in the Apple Ring for a long time. And my questions today are twofold. One, we have to answer what the heck is the Apple Ring and what could it be? And two, how does it fit into the Apple ecosystem? So let's start with question number one. What is it or what do we know rather? We know that Samsung is the newest company to announce joining the ring business with many other players like Aura being one of the biggest ones out there. And I don't have an Aura, but everybody I know who has one is incredibly pleased with it, loves the data they get from it, tons of positive news. And The Verge says that this could be the year of the smart ring. So maybe The Verge is onto something in, in general and maybe Apple is aware as well. So Apple has patent filings and applications that date back to 2015 at the earliest being described as devices and methods for a ring computing device. Early on, they would have had like a touch display and all of the early images. In fact, I, I should have put these up for you guys. I can show you. Uh, here are some of those early images right there of what it would have looked like back in the day. And then uh, we also uh, found out that there would be gesture rec recognition. That was a later filing. Um, they have the pl plans for health markers and for haptics, which is that feedback system that kind of buzzes that you feel with your hand. That's the simplest way I could describe it to you. There's some amazing technology in the robotics world. I teach robotics, so I get to talk about it all the time, and there's some amazing technology with haptic systems. It's really cool stuff. Uh, but where does, this is question two now, where does the ring fit into the Apple ecosystem? Because that's the question I think is most interesting, and I'm definitely super interested in knowing what you think about where the Apple ring fits into the ecosystem. And here's why. There are three kind of possibilities as to what the Apple Ring might possibly be used for. The first one is for health tracking, like the Aura Ring. But here's the thing with the health metrics. You have the Apple Watch, and that's been the main you know, function of the Apple Watch really since Apple Watch 4. In a way, you could argue is from Apple Watch 1 from the very beginning with heart rate. But really, I think it's Apple Watch 4 is when they really started shifting as a company to start thinking, how can we focus this toward health metrics, right? So if that's the case, and it's, and, and it's about the health metrics in the Apple Watch, and I'm reading all of that right, I'm not really sure you need the ring because the ring doesn't really add anything other than maybe you'd wear your ring at night and your watch during the day or something. I'm not really sure. Whenever I've wanted to wear my watch during the evening um, for tracking, I would charge it before I went to bed and then I would have it on for sleep tracking or like I like to use it for a buzz alarm because it's not as annoying and it doesn't wake up your spouse, right? Well, option number two, you could be a remote for Apple devices. Uh, for example, uh, TV, your Apple TV, excuse me, your HomePod, your iPhone, your Mac, you could use it, uh, especially with the haptic system as a way of, um, and the gesture recognition as a way of controlling devices. That could be really cool as an accessibility feature. It could be really cool. It just as an option of if you don't have the remote, if you happen to lose it, which I happen to do far more often than I should, um, the, the ring could be a really cool way of, you know, using gestures or something to activate a device, pause music, whatever, play, play the next song, tap twice. Yeah, I don't know. There could be so many possibilities there that would not be far out of reach because the Apple ecosystem is so tight and so well connected that it's so doable in my mind. But option number three, and I have to tell you, this is in the article, but I swear, I swear, I did think of this idea before I read it in the article, but you know, it's low hanging fruit, right? 
But of course, the Apple Vision Pro is on all of our minds right now. And if we're all thinking about the Apple Vision Pro, uh, the ring would be a fantastic way, even if you had to have two of them on, to get additional features and functions into the Apple Vision Pro ecosystem. I understand that you already have wrist movements and your fingers and stuff, but it would be great to have a remote for other purposes or if you didn't want to have to have your hand in front of the cameras or something and you could be down below doing it, I don't know. It just seems like a remote would be kind of cool. And for sure, for those of you that are thinking of the gaming side, I could totally see it for uh, for gaming purposes to have that on your hand as uh, the accelerometers in there, tracking your hand movement and your gestures and all that stuff for games would be super, super cool. Even if, like I said, you had to have more than once, I think more, more than one, I think that would be really awesome. But what are some cool use cases you think about? I'd love to hear you in the comments. Let me know uh, what you think some use cases for the Apple Ring would be. And if you think the Apple Ring is kind of a dumb idea and we shouldn't do it, I say we like I work for Apple. Come on, Tim, hook it up, man, please. I'd love to hang out. Uh, I, I'd love to know what kind of use cases you guys think the Apple Ring could be used for or if you feel like it's just a waste. There's no use for it. My initial gut reaction was like the Apple Watch has has been the avenue for all of the things that you would want the Ring to do. But now the more that I think about it, I'm like, yeah, but the Apple Watch still requires, except for this, it still requires a second hand for a lot of stuff. So, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some cool use cases out there. I'll look forward to reading them in the comments. Think different, stay crazy.